Hey there everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon and good evening to whoever you're watching this from. And this is just going to be a small talk on being whoever you want it to be. So, yeah. As you know, as kids, we used to be told by our parents, you know, you, you can be literally whatever you want to be. You know, it's, it's crazy that's, to think about that. You know when you're growing up because because the more you grow up and the more your circumstances change and suddenly you know the more your dreams change the more your aspirations change who you want to be changes throughout the course of your growth as a human and as people in general so so it's crazy to think about that line when you're actually you know when you've decided to pursue something and it doesn't work out but you still pursue it anyway you know for example i mean let's uh let's take the arts you know you you can you can be you know painting pictures painting portraits of beautiful landscapes and all that uh, but you can still be working a part-time job to pay the bills, to get you money for food and all that. And, you know, you're doing things on the side, you know, it's like you're living a double life. It's like, it's like morning, whatever time your shift starts to when it ends for nine hours, you're, that's, you're, you're an employee at a company for a job that, uh, to pay the bills. And then when you get home, you're an artist who creates masterfully crafted pieces of art, paintings or sculptures, whatever. And I feel like that in and of itself, that that willingness or that that initiative or that urge to do that, despite having despite having uh, a very tiresome day at work or very you know, very uh, stressful day at work in general. Not even at work, it could be on your day off or whatever. But having the initiative to do that, having an initiative or putting in the effort and time to even do that, even though, you know, your schedule is so messed up, you're, you're, you're really packed the entire day or the entire week, but you still manage to give like two or three hours at best uh, to the to the thing that you love the most or the thing that you love doing and I feel like that in and of itself thinking back to it now I guess that's what our parents uh, or parents meant by that you know it's like even those motivational speakers and everyone around us who are like much older uh, who have been through the same phase and who have surpassed it already they all say the same thing it's like you can be whoever whatever you want you can be whoever you want and in terms of uh, speaking in terms of you know occupations and stuff like that I, I actually misinterpreted it myself because like I thought you know you can be whoever you want uh, means you know you can actually pursue any career you want you can actually do anything you want which you can but uh, in terms of careers well the opportunity might not present itself to you and all that so you're gonna be working before you get to where you are and in terms of uh, words of my mom well <laughs> that she just said like a couple of days ago in terms of getting to where you want to be at and getting to where you want to go you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go through jobs which are jobs speaking in the terms of careers uh, that aren't really your cup of tea or aren't really your you know in your wheelhouse or in your field just to get by you know just to pay the bills just to you know be able to live eat food and stuff like survive well yeah so yeah, I, I guess that's the thing. But then after that, 
you know, she says it's going to take time for you to get where you want to be at and all that. But then, yeah, coming back to the point of, you know, what they said, being where we want to be, is that as long as you're doing something, like, let's, let's, as long, let's say you're, you know, like, like I've given just a couple of minutes ago an exa- as an example. And say you're a musician who writes songs, who plays this one, who plays music, who paints and all that, and uh, and you do it, but you don't do it full time. You know, you do it as a hobby and all that. In and of itself, as well as in the act, uh, in the words of my siblings as well, is that in and of itself, just doing the act means that you're becoming that thing that you want it to be and the concept of what I just said I mean if you make music if you write songs then you're a musician period (laughs) that's it (laughs) you know you're a musician it doesn't have to be your full time uh, it doesn't have to be your full time career it doesn't have to be you know you know, what you're doing on a day-to-day basis. It doesn't have to be the thing that pays your bills. It doesn't have to, you know, you don't have to be the the best uh, musician out there. Of course, it's it's nice, of course, to, to the musicians out there, I guess that it's nice, uh, you know, to see your, your, your songs get, you know, blow up and get a lot of views and got a lot of distance to Spotify and other platforms. And then, of course, it's extremely amazing. Of course, I bet if you, if your, if your songs get you know, out there and actually you know, hit the charts and you know make it to the top ten Billboard or one million or whatever one hundred. So yeah, I know that those achievements are really, really you know overwhelming and really nice to feel. Yeah, it makes you think actually that. You know, it makes you think actually that, you know, what you're doing isn't a waste of time. And, you know, you can actually call yourself that, <laughs> you know, that's what that's what I thought as well. A uh, couple of couple of years ago or even even up to this day, I still have that lingering thought in my mind. It's like, can I call myself? Can I truly call myself the thing that I'm doing? Or the thing that I'm, you know, passionate about. You know, like, can I call myself uh, a writer? Can I call myself an author? Can I call myself a poet? When, when my work has not, you know, even nearly got off the ground. When my work does not nearly reach as many people. When my work is, you know not known as you know or books are not known as you know uh, new york times best-selling author you know can i really call myself that and uh, and of course uh as as it goes back the act of doing it means that you are already that thing now yes (laughs) It would be nice to be doing it full time, but but I realize that can also be a good thing if you're you know living a double life and it's it's split fifty fifty you know work responsibilities and then your craft later on in the day because it could be a form of therapy for you and it could be like a form of you know peace it can bring you peace among a stressful day you know just doing what you love pouring your heart and mind and soul into it creating masterfully pieces of crap that were born or given birth or brought light to by your own, you know, troubled and destructive emotions. So in a way you're, you're kindly, if you're doing that, you're basically making something out of nothing or making something out of something that was destructive. You're being productive with your emotions. You're being productive with your thoughts. And, you know, it's it's nice. And along the way, I mean, quoting the great Kobe Bryant, I mean, <laughs> the, great, the late great Kobe Bryant, sorry, 
uh, is that in an interview he was talking with, I think this, I think he was talking with Jay Shetty or whatever, uh, and then he he mentioned that when they touched on the topic of you know him being a writer and you know writing children's books and animated films and all that after basketball, he mentioned a line that stuck with me or resonated with me is that is that it starts uh, it starts with doing the craft it starts with the love that you have for your craft it starts with are you really passionate about this thing or it starts with questions uh you know being that does this really bring me joy does this really you know help me in any way does it really is it really something i want to do or the question why am i doing it in the first place because he mentioned that it's to inspire people it's to is to write stories and you know tell stories that can resonate with kids can teach them lessons that help them grow to be better people and all that and he said that if the awards come if the awards come and you know it bears fruit of their hard work then that's great but ultimately the the end goal or the first goal in the first place was uh, to inspire people and to write captivating and heartfelt stories so I guess that's what resonated with me a lot because, you know, the same field that I want to inspire to be in. But uh, yeah, it can it can relate to a lot of things that you want to pursue as well, you know, that are very, you know, that are very uh, outcome driven and outcome oriented. So, yeah, it's just a thought, you know, to put out there. I mean, if you're struggling and you're like me, who was like hell bent on trying to get, you know, the passion or the hobby to be the main thing instead of a side thing uh, to the job that you have to pay the bills, then, I mean, it's okay, you'll get there. I mean, so long as you, so long as you have the passion, uh, the drive, the, the enjoyment in doing it and the openness to express yourself, it gives you the opportunity to express yourself vulnerably and, you know, honestly, then you'll be making who knows how many, you know, awesome pieces of work each and every day. It's just uh, just about it's just a matter of time. Eventually your fruits will bear your the la uh, the work of your labor will bear fruits, but uh, it's going to take time. So maybe it never does. Maybe, you know, you're just going to be doing whatever you want as a hobby forever and doing a job at the same time. But hey, at least you found something that you love to do. And at least it gives you gives you a little bit more meaning in your life. And I think that's that's the most important thing about that. But yeah, hope you have a great day. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks so much for listening. Yeah, see you.